over and over, on and on, back to back? What do these mean? I'm Teacher Mike, and today we are going to learn 10 short and simple English expressions that you can use in your daily life. First, we have to do something over. To do something over means to do it again, probably because it wasn't good enough the first time. Maybe you have finished a task, but your boss doesn't think that you have done a good job. They might say, I want you to do this over. That means I want you to do this again, starting from the beginning. But over and over, or over and over again, means repeatedly, or again and again. For example, sometimes I listen to the same song over and over again. That means that I listen to the same song many times. Or my grandmother tells me the same stories over and over again. That means that each time that I see her, she tells me the same stories that she has already told me many times before. If you do two things back to back, this means that you do them consecutively, or you do one right after the other one. For example, she took two English lessons back to back. That means that she took one lesson and then she took another one right after it. Or he sang two songs back to back. This means that he sang one song and then he sang another song right after it without taking a break. Next, we've got on and on. But first, if you are finding this video useful, please don't forget to give it a like. Doing this both really helps my channel and it helps other learners like you because it tells them that this is a good video to watch. When we say that something happens on and on, this means that it happens continuously or it continues to happen for a long period of time. We mostly use this with the verb go, and when we do this, go often means talk. For example, I could go on and on about this, but I don't want to bore you. That means that I could continue talking about this for a very long time, but I don't want to make you bored. When we say that an event dragged on and on, this means that the event continued for a long time and probably felt very slow and boring. So if you were in a really long, really boring meeting that felt like it was never going to end, you could say, that meeting dragged on and on. But when we say that something is on and off, this means that it is inconsistent or it happens sometimes, but not other times. For example, it's been raining on and off all day today. This means that the rain has started, stopped, and started again multiple times today. Or I have been studying English on and off for about five years. This means that during those five years, there have been periods where I studied regularly, and there have been periods where I didn't study at all. Back and forth means that something goes one way and then goes the opposite way. For example, the shuttle takes people back and forth between the parking lot and the airport terminal. After it goes to the terminal, then it goes back to the parking lot, and then it goes back to the terminal again. Or they sent messages back and forth. That means that one person sent a message, the other person replied, and this happened multiple times. Out and about basically means that someone is doing things away from their home, but it makes it sound more active or like they are going many different places. For example, she has been out and about all day today, so she's probably going to be tired when she gets home. Or, I prefer to spend time out and about, rather than staying at home. 
If someone says that they are going to be in and out of somewhere, this means that they are going to be quick. They are only going to be in that place for a very short period of time. For example, maybe you are in the car with your friend and you see a store that you want to stop and buy something from. You might say, can we stop at this store? I'll be in and out. There's just one thing that I need to buy. If something is happening left and right, this means that it is happening everywhere, or maybe it is out of control. For example, new restaurants are opening left and right. That means that lots of new restaurants are opening. Or after he won the lottery, he was spending money left and right. This means that he was spending lots of money on many different things. And finally, to go above and beyond means to do more than you are required to do, or more than you are expected to do. For example, if your boss tells you that you have gone above and beyond with something, this is a compliment, which means that you did a better job than you needed to do. Or if someone asks you why you like a certain hotel, you might say, because the staff always go above and beyond. They do more than they are required to do. They do extra things to make sure that you are comfortable and enjoy your experience. And if you would like to watch two videos back to back, I recommend watching this video right here, which is about common expressions with the word good. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.